extreme dream control. My name is David, this is Ghost Diver and today we're gonna talk about your body posture. We're gonna talk about why it's important, what we usually get wrong and how to fix it. So why is body posture so important? Because it allows you to take care of breathing, buoyancy, trim and proportion by allowing a certain level of comfort uh, by the way you control your body so that you can uh, relax and focus on the other task that you have. Basically, you improve your efficiency. First of all, you're gonna be streamlined, so you're gonna reduce the uh, physical effort when you move in the water. When you maintain an horizontal position, the distribution of the nitrogen along your body is even, and while you maintain your muscles as relaxed as possible, this is where you optimize your uh, off-gassing. It's not just about being horizontal. Is that if, you, if to be horizontal, you have to keep yourself uh, under tension, this is definitely not gonna help. So, what we want to do is to maintain an horizontal position with the minimum effort possible. The mistakes I was talking about, for, for beginners, they lower the legs, lower than the belly, the fins are gonna basically touch the bottom. The other mistakes they do is that when they keep the legs horizontal, they finally learn it, the fins many times are pointing downward, so there is basically very little control of the ankle. The next step is that when they go to swim frog, they keep the fins up, especially when they're hovering doing a safety stop and you see the typical pictures with the bunny ear behind the head. Now, for experienced diver, the problem is that with the upper body, they know that they want to be horizontal, but they give this angle to the back giving a contraction to the lower back and because of the arms pushing upward they also give a contraction to the upper back and to all the muscles in the scapular area okay in order to maintain our body uh, straight the first thing we have to do is to bring our hip into a posterior tilt position which is this we are using the hip extensors and we are squeezing our butt to keep our pelvis out. This is super important to align the leg with the rest of the body. So now I'm gonna lay on the bench and I'm gonna show you the difference. To be horizontal, instead of doing something like this, we are gonna keep our back completely relaxed. Seriously, relax. You can even put your head down for a little bit and just focus on the posterior tilt of your pelvis, which automatically, look, the legs are gonna pop up. Now, your butt, your gluteus maximus is the biggest muscle of your body. You can contract it for a very long time. You're never, you're never gonna get a cramp to your butt. On the other hand, the trapezoid and the rectus spinae, the muscle of your back, those ones, are, even if they're very strong because you train, still, you're gonna get a contracture. So, Make yourself a favor and use the muscle designed to be stressed. What you're doing, you're also gonna partially contract your abs. Your abdominals are designed to give stability and strength to your core, so they are not gonna suffer. So use those muscles, contract your abs and your butt and the muscles inside your pelvis, all the um, extents of the hip, the deep muscles. The next step is to bring up the knees. First of all, keep the legs out of the bench and hold yourself because underwater you have to fight against gravity. That's why your legs are going down. Same story is gonna be here. Underwater is gonna be a bit easier, but now we wanna, do, we wanna train. So if it is a little bit harder, that's okay. Basically, my pelvis is on the edge of the bench, okay? I'm gonna maintain it in a posterior tilt, so the legs are already gonna pop up from a flatter position in a frog position. Super important, I have to control my ankles to keep the things parallel to the chest and to the upper leg, okay? Now, upper body. Once our legs are in the correct position, we can take care of our back, okay? Uh, I'm pretty sure that all of you try to look at the sky at least a couple of times in your life, isn't it? So, 
You don't really bend your back when you try to look up. You just tilt, eh? You just tilt your head upward. Don't contract your neck. Don't contract your shoulder. Just as extend it. Focus on that. Your arm don't need to be like this. Keep the shoulder relaxed. And obviously, don't let the forearm go down like that. Keep them up. The most natural position for your wheels is this one. It's not this one, like if you hold a good man handle for your torch, it's not this one. It doesn't matter if you stay a little bit like this, a little bit, you're gonna constantly change the position of your hands. It's not a big problem. This angle that I give between my shoulder and my forearm, it definitely help you to relax the muscles of your shoulder on your back. It's a good compromise between being streamlined and being comfortable. Now I'll tell you something. When I have to swim for many many hours, especially if I already know the place, I don't really need to look forward for all the time. So if I want to relax my neck, many times I just swim with my head down. Once in a while, if you want to relax your neck, just do that. If you have to swim from here to there, you already see where you have to go. You don't have to keep watching all the time. You can just keep your head down for a few seconds, okay? And you lift it up just to check that you're still going in the right place. Like this, you can improve your comfort underwater. To do everything at once, my pelvis is on the edge. To maintain a good position of my arm, actually, holding the bench is perfect because look, that's exactly the angle I want to keep my arms underwater and my hands top. Like this, like I said before, like this, like that, whatever you want. So let's do that. Bend this, lower leg, feet, and I relax my back. All the tension now is on my abs, my butt, and the deep muscles in the hip. So don't try to be like this. Relax. Hold yourself and just enjoy your dive. So guys, the sun is coming up. It's time to finish this video and to have a coffee. I hope it's gonna be helpful for you underwater what I just showed to you. If you are interested in any of my programs, you can visit uh, uh, ghostdivers.com. And uh, for today it's everything. Thank you for watching.